Hey guys, Funky Gex here. Today I'm gonna tell you guys how to get this voice. This voice? This voice? This voice? And this voice. And this voice. Alright guys, you guys probably figured out this came from voice mod, alright? The best free software for voice changes. I mean, for now on. So, I'll today video I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up, how to install. How to actually um sync with your audio, everything, stuff like that. I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it on Streamlabs while you're streaming and Discord also. Cause I, I, I can't tell about USB OBS Studio, but probably it's the same. Cause I'm using Streamlabs to stream on Twitch in the moment. So I guess it's almost the same settings there. And Discord as well. So probably you can just troll in with your friend and it'll just, just sound differently and just tell them and they could and end up they die and don't blame at you <laughs> by the way by the way we are covering free version for today there's a lot of pro version there that you have to pay i'll i'll tell you guys on the upcoming sessions and all right guys let's stop talking i'm gonna bring you there right now let's go all right guys here we are now i'm gonna tell you guys how to install white mods just just uh type in voice mod on google and just click the first one, voicemod.net or you can just type in voicemod.net too, no problem, anyway so just download it, just break on it and get voicemod free and today we're gonna be covering the free version cause there's really a pro version, right? you have to pay it monthly or maybe yearly if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna show you guys after this and it's support for Windows 7, 8, 8 by 1 and 10, 64 bits and there's a lot of cool stuff video you can go to around the voicemod's website here it's pretty cool so let's just get your voice mod free. Let's go. It's downloading 64.4 MB. Hmm, very small file. Not that big, pretty good. Just set up the voice mod here. Click OK, English, or maybe you want to choose other language, no problem. Just click next. I accept the agreement. Next. All right. Okay. Now we can choose this file, the location file. I'm going to just um put it on my local disk E which is my um, bigger hard drive space there all right i'm gonna click next quick quick launch i don't like quick launch actually it depends on you guys actually you know uh for me i just desktop shortcut is is just good enough just cool enough so click next install all right it is installing all right well when it's done installing you have to set up so it will be muted for a little bit of time Now it's done. It's back. Let's launch. Let's go. Launch the voice mod. What is this? Okay. Yeah, I, got, I purposely uninstall my voice mod just to install and show you guys how to set it up. I'm gonna tell you what what I have to set up um using Discord and Streamlabs. I'm not using OBS, so I guess it's the same way because I'm using Streamlabs to stream on twitch so i need to uh tell you guys how to set it set it up everything and first time gonna be slow you have to get a little bit time of slow so i'm gonna just continue with twitch because i'm using my twitch account so i need to just authorize yeah i've just obtained my email address so no worry about it all right success all right let's go complete the login process another time yeah all right here we are Here we are. All right, now here we are. Okay, change your voice. Play with sounds. Where can I use it? All right. All right. So basically, I'm using this this mic, HyperX Solo Cast, which is very awesome. I'll try to do a video on this product, which is I found probably the best affordable USB mic we can use for streaming or any other purpose so I'm gonna just choose, choose this all right so I'm choosing it so you have to show your headphones and yep I'm using a chorus eh? all right let's do it it's done continue testing testing All right, let's go next. Next, are you ready? Yes, get started. Turn it off. And by the way, guys, I've already just uh, this is my stream labs. All right, 
just to show you guys that I have muted my my audio, my my desktop audio, so that in case you guys won't listen to me like um repeating any background echo there. So alright, okay. So first thing first, this is a voice box. This is a free version. Alright, it gonna be change every day. Alright, it's every day. It's a daily. Sorry, I'm gonna just adjust it for you guys to have a clear uh clear view on it. Alright. So it changed every day for the I mean uh for the free version. It remains some. It remains some maybe um like, some default one, maybe they're gonna stay in for longer. And this is a pro custom voice, and this is all a pro version that you have to pay. You have to pay for it. And let me show you what is the price on doing it. Real quick update now no no uh this is a free version. Let's see where do I find a pro version? Nope, soundboard. Hmm. Did they actually include the pro version here? Let me see. Let's see. All right, it's easy. It's here. So three months for like eight dollars. 10 cents USD, one year is like 13 dollars or 50 cents of USD, lifetime is like 29 USD, oh they already do some promotion, alright, so uh, I'm not buying it because I'm not really um using it that regularly, just just trying to troll my friend here sometimes, <laughs> some some free voice is actually enough, it's good enough for me, but you guys maybe can try it if let's say that you really enjoy this uh, voice changes stuff here, alright, now let me just bring you back, to the free version here this is a free one soundboard this is soundboard and voice left for pro version settings all right what i'm gonna cover is about the settings okay so <coughs> oh sorry excuse me man all right so basically input is a mic output is a source that your 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 voice just bring out like your headsets your your speakers or um any other source any other products so and pretty cool one thing that voice might actually include reduced background noise, alright? Which you can find it. Alright, let me just adjust it. Alright. Which you can actually find it in the top right corner, which is beside the mic, alright? That's a volume. Just press it, left click on it, and you see there's a reduced background noise and you can turn it off. Pretty cool features, pretty cool. Um, pretty impressive that voice actually comes with it. And... Okay, in case, in case, in case, sometime that you don't find your product, your, your, your output here, you can just tick on refresh. And sometimes it pops up, alright? Because sometimes um, when you connect, let's say you're using a wireless headphone, when you just turn it on, and it, sometimes it connected, but in voice mode, it's not connected. So you have to refresh it, and it will show up. No worry. No worry about that. And, alright, this is a voice. So let, let's just uh, test it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute my, my Streamlabs audio, desktop audio. Which is uh, right here, desktop audio. Can you see actually? Sorry about that. All right, which is here. I'm gonna mute it so that you guys won't listen to me. Uh, some repeating voice. All right. So let's let's do it, man. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh, there's almost setups I need to tell you guys. Um, let me just show you by now. While well, this thing is actually uh finishing, it's taking pretty long for today. All right. All right. Anything for first time is taking a little bit longer, so no worry about that, guys. No worry. And all right, I'm gonna show you what what setup you have to do. All right, first thing first, you need to go to your mic on Streamlabs. I guess it's the same with OBS. So go Streamlabs, type on the settings icon, and go for properties. All right, go for properties here. Click on it, and you have to choose microphone voice mod virtual audio device. All right, you have to use. Uh, you can No one can listen to you. I mean, no. There's no difference. So you have to use this and click done. All right. Now we're done. So let's see. Let's hear myself. Oh, cool. Is it a rocking? Oh, what was a background effect? Oh, mm. okay. 
Impressive. <laughs> alright, alright. Stop playing. Let's try this. Birthday Beach. Hey, wow, what a voice. Mm, nah. Oh, it's a magic card. I am singing. All right. All right, guys, I'm not going to test out this um, out of range and um, sort because it's pretty annoying, really. Some some voice is cool, but some's not. Some some is really, really annoying. So um, you can you guys can um, test it out for yourself. So no worry about that. And one more thing. All right. If you want to do it on Discord, you have to do it settings. All right. This is my Discord. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right. This is my Discord. All right. Can you see? All right. So one thing you have to go to settings. All right go to voice and video so same same thing all right your input you have to choose voice mod virtual audio which you can find the when you, when you just type in the settings right on the left bar here you'll see some voice and video just tap on it and you will see input device and output device so when it comes to input device you have to choose microphone voice mod virtual audio device all right you have to use it you have to click this or else when you talk with your voice changer your discord friend not gonna hear it so you're gonna tap on it all right, everything seems fine. Everything seems good. And one more thing, I'm gonna show you guys to do sounds here. You need to go to the settings, sounds, playback. Is it enabled by now? Yep. Um, for I I don't know why, but it's it's automatically enabled. But some guys, you have to go to sounds. You have to go to sounds here, which you can find in your window ten, um, right right side corner down here with a there's a volume thing here. Just right click it, click sounds. All right, so go to playbacks. All right, and you have to like go down to line voice. You, you will see voice mod virtual audio device. So if it's not enabled, you have to right click it and enable. My mine is enabled now. I, I don't know why, but it's automatically enabled for me. I'm not sure for you guys, but if if, if it's not enabled, just right click on it and tap enable. All right. So when it's enabled, when you talk, you, you'll see the green bar is going. So you know it's actually activating. All right. So no worry about that. And press OK. All right, guys. And one more thing that you guys have to take care of and um, uh, just be be careful on it because some guys they use head fan and speaker. I mean, some some people pretty sad they have speaker and headphone. So whenever you switch, you switch from your headphone to speaker. You have to you have to set it right here as well. All right. If not, if not, your mic not gonna be working. No, your mic not gonna be working and you have to you have to choose your output you have to change your output whenever the output that you're using all right so it is pretty um frustrating here yeah, i don't know i'm not sure is it about a software problem but yes you have to if let's say that you guys encounter this issue so no worry just whenever let's say you're you're stop using a headset you want to use your speaker all right when you use your speaker you have to go back to the output and tap speaker my my mine is a g50 gaming speaker which, which is very very awesome you guys must try all right and um okay so this is how you install voice mods and you can try it out man it's like every day every day daily it gonna be different different voice but magic card stays for a bit longer i'm not sure why but um every day this all of this gonna be changed so you guys can test on it so no worry all right guys that's today's video this is how you install and set up voice mods you with streamlabs and discord all right on the next upcoming video i'm gonna teach every one of you how to set up on your stream decks your elgato stream decks and it's very easy it's just gonna be a few minutes video because it's pretty easy to set up but i'll do i'll i will be doing how to download the software i mean a very short touch up on there and oh yeah one more thing that i just uploaded my another video that is um how to solve streamlabs obs display capture issue flickering issue I have already uploaded how to solve it <clears throat> and I hope it helps every one of you and hope you guys enjoyed your day and enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.